What's up, guys? It's Cody Brockway from Brockway's Vinyl Bites. Woohoo! Ready to rock. Got some cool news for you, too. Brockway's Vinyl Bites is going to be teaming up with Mr. Scott Laid from the Prague Corner here on YouTube this coming Sunday, December 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be joining him over on his channel for a live stream where we're going to be together talking about the wonderful King Crimson. Heck yeah! So we th I thought we'd get that cool news out of the way. I'm a big fan of the Prague Corner. I'm a big fan of Scott Lade. I just think he's a cool dude. And so the fact that we get to collaborate and do something really special together, talking about one of my most favorite bands is is unreal, man. He's uh, much loved to Scott. And if you haven't checked out the Prague Corner, go do that. After this video, go check out the Prague Corner because he's got some great content there. Talks about all, all of our favorite music for the most part. And... Uh, He's just a cool guy with great taste, and I'm happy to be joining him this coming Sunday, December 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this video is actually going to be a two-parter because I'm talking about um, I'm talking about some King Crimson box sets that I own. I've got six of them, so I'm going to do three of them in this part and then three of them in the next part. So let's get right into it. This is a four-CD set, the Essential King Crimson frame by frame. Let's open her up and see what we got in here. We've actually got the King Crimson family tree, which is huge, and we'll be talking about that with Scott. Look at this nice booklet. This is very similar to that uh, to the Yes box set actually that came out in the '90s. There. Pretty cool. And it's four CDs. So in the first CD, it's 1969 to 71. We got great tunes like 21st Century Schizoid Man, obviously. You know, we got I Talk to the Wind, Epitaph, Moonchild, and The Court of the Crimson King. That's actually the entire first record. That's how good it is. Uh, and then we got a couple of tracks from In the Wake of Poseidon, like Cat Food and Groon and Cadence and Cascade, the remix version. That's just a couple of tracks on that disc. On the next disc, this is, oh, this is the live CD from 1969 to 84. So this has got a whole bunch of cool live stuff like Get Thy Bearings from 1969, uh, Mars from 1969. I guess that's uh, Mars, the, the the bringer of war. Lark's Tongues and Aspect Part 3, excerpt live from 1984. And Indiscipline, one of my favorite King Crimson tracks ever. That, this is a live version from 1982. Pretty sweet. On this CD, we have more studio work from 1972 to 1974. Just a couple of the tracks we got. Uh, we got Lark's Tons and Aspect Part 1, Abridged, and Part 2. We've got Book of Saturday, Easy Money. So almost that whole album except for uh, Talking Drum. Uh, we have abridged versions of Fracture and Starless. And, of course, we have Red, Fallen Angel, One More Nightmare. One More Red Nightmare, sorry, I should say. And then on the last disc, it's studio work from 1981 to 1984. So this is, yeah, this is the Adrian Ballou stuff. I really, really, really love this stuff. Elephant Talk, Frame by Frame, Made Kudasai, Heartbeat, Neurotica, Waiting Man, Sleepless, Discipline, The Sheltering Sky. What a great band. What a great band. And I'm, I'm happy to own this box set because it's iconic. It's great. This is, this is the front of it here. We'll put this aside and we'll get into King Crimson on and off the road. So this is basically all of the live stuff, all of the studio stuff, uh, anything that's 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 audible or visual from the period 1981 to 1984. I love this period of King Crimson. This is the Tony Levin, Bill Bruford, Adrian Ballou, and uh, Robert Fripp period of the band. So this is all of all three of the albums that they put out and a whole bunch of cool live stuff. Um, what do we got here? We got some written notes, cool pictures of the band. Look at this photo. Pretty sweet. Ah, close. <laughs> We've got the tour book from the... Well, the 15th anniversary concert in Japan, 1984. So this is what the tour book would have looked like back then. And these are basically like, these are like the actual vinyl album sleeves. There's no vinyl in this box set, but uh, pretty cool. This is what the actual record sleeves look like of all three albums. So we got Discipline, 
beat. And three of a perfect pair. That's all that's covered in this box is those albums. So here's the book for King Crimson on and off the road. See, we got some cool pictures in here, maybe. Oh yeah, look at look at good old Bob, Bobby Fripp. <laughs> and uh, oh, here's all the here's some of the CDs that come with it. Lots of cool live DVDs and surround mixes of the albums and such. Of all the albums, I should say. I'm not going to pull every single one out, but you kind of get the gist. We got Discipline Live in Japan, Beat, and we've got this DVD here. What's the DVD got on it? Oh, it's the this is the surround sound mix for all three albums. I believe it was done by Stephen Wilson. The 5.1 mix. Yeah, my fave. Let's keep that out so we can listen to it. <laughs> Pretty cool. So that is the on and off the road King Crimson box set. Next one up, we got Thrak. Yes, this is the Thrak box set. So this is basically everything from the Thrak period. This is when they were the double trio lineup. This is all the recordings and the you know they got the live stuff, the studio stuff, and anything that's audible or visual. Like I said before, this is everything that King Crimson pretty much recorded. Uh, from 1994 to 1997, and then they threw their kitchen sink in there. <laughs> so this is basically what uh, what features in this box set, if you can read all of that in three, two, one. <laughs> that's the same with the other box set. There is no vinyl in this one, but that's okay. Um, we got cool, cool little programs and articles and pictures and things to flip through. We got a nice poster from the Thrak Attack Tour. So this is the lineup of Adrian Ballou, Trey Gunn, Robert Fripp, Tony Levin, Bill Bruford, and Pat Mastelato. Two amazing drummers. I was actually lucky enough to see uh, Pat Mastelato play with King Crimson a few years back. Here's the um, Thrak album cover as if it were presented on vinyl. And you open it up and it's all this cool stuff like lyrics and and whatnot for the album. I love the Thrak period of this band. Nice cool picture of the band and some labels for some reel-to-reel -reel tapes. They really put everything in these box sets, you know. King Crimson 1996 itinerary over here. Another picture of the band. Here's an actual concert ticket. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Unfortunately, I wasn't. I wouldn't be alive then, at least for another two years. But that's okay. Little postcards. Very cool. Very well thought out. Another ticket. Here's the big book. What's the right way to open this? Yeah, there it is. Oh, look at this picture. Look at the, the guys hard at work in the studio. Some of these box sets are pretty hard to get now. Um, but, uh, wow, these are so well done. There's pictures of them at the rehearsals. Just really great to... Uh, Really great stuff. Lots of cool information in the write-ups in these as well. Pretty cool. And, of course, we got the CDs, which come, of course, also in these digipacks. Got lots of cool live stuff from this period, as well as the surround sound mixes. Again, done by Stephen Wilson on both DVD and Blu-ray, I should say. And the same with the On and Off the Road box set. Pretty cool. Love me some King Crimson. Anyway... Thanks for watching, King Crimson fans. Let's set this aside. And yeah, we'll see you soon with a part two for this. And we will also see you on Sunday, December 10th. We'll be over on the Prague corner with Scott Laid talking about King Crimson. The video will be what's so great about King Crimson. And I got a whole mind full of things to talk about. I love this band. Pretty much everything they've done is just great. Uh, as a drummer, of course, I'm a big fan of Bill Bruford and, uh, you know, 
and all the drummers that have played with King Crimson over the years, Pat Mastelato, Bill Rieflin, R.I.P., um, Michael Giles, you know, all the great drummers that, uh, Gavin Harrison, you know, all the great drummers that have crossed through this band over the years. Um, excellent band, and uh, we'll see you soon for part two of this, and we'll see you on Sunday on the Prog Corner. Yeah, rock on! <laughs>